Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Timber and Stone, episode number 10. We are fresh off the heels of being completely, or almost completely, massacred by wolves. Now, when we left off in episode 9, I said that this was a pretty hard hit, and I wasn't sure if we would try and come back from this because it might take a while for us to get some more people. But, it sounded like a number you wanted to at least see me try and get things back uh, and, and going here again. So, we are here. We've got people kind of milling about at a kind of a slow pace here. We'll speed this up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. I think one of the first things that we want to do is get uh, everybody moved up into this area. This is something that a number of you have been talking about. And I've actually been working on slowly kind of bringing in some storage up here. Um, bringing the weapon rack. The idea was I was going to use this floor area in here for some of the um, workbenches. So I think we're going to start doing that. We're going to start bringing some of these things up here. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're going to look at workshops and let's see. We probably want a workbench. Kind of get one of these going first. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm trying to think about how to do this. I think I might try and go all around the walls in here. Um, tr Cause we wanna get as much stuff in here as we can. Now, I don't wanna block the uh, access to this guy. Let's, um, let's cancel this really quick. Okay, so you can actually access the weapon rack from the other side, I was not sure there. So let's go ahead and get this guy. I think we'll go ahead and put it, um, I think we'll go ahead and put it right there. So we're gonna get that going. Um, that's gonna take, okay, stone mason. Let's see, um, let's look at the next thing. I was actually gonna go look at something else, but let's, um, we got a forge, we got the anvil. Let me think about this, feeding trough. Um, let's get the timbering bench up here. Let's see, this is a very specific can't uh, block this guy in. It's got one angle we can uh, approach it at. Now, I don't need the door this wide. It's only going to be three wide, so I could move this in and then move the uh, stone wall in a bit. I could do something like this. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, cool. And then, right. So now we, we've got these two down. I think we're going to start there, and we're going to jump in here and look at everybody. We need people on stone masonry. We do need Carpenter. Unfortunately, Ross is like the best at both of those. We'll go ahead and stick Pamela on that. And let's see, what else, what else? Um, I could get, we do have Francis on building right now, which is good. I do have some holes in the floor that, <laughs> that eventually we're gonna wanna fill in if I'm uh, putting around these different work uh, benches. But um, I, think, I think we'll keep the foraging, the fishing going. I think the rest is fine for now. We don't have a whole lot of people to give up to these kind of tasks, but we'll go ahead and start there. Let's go over here really quick. Now we can, whoa, <laughs> we can break down the wagon for all of its material. I think that's probably something that we will be doing. Um, let's see, we have the workbench, the timbering bench. I do have the stone forge and the anvil. I think those are the next two we'll build. Um, food containers would be good too. We'd like people to not have to be running down there to get food, which they will probably continue to do. I do actually have a food container down below, um, down there, so maybe when they're all up here they would access the one, but uh, maybe I could leave the other ones down there. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I don't know if this one gets filled up and has its own... I mean, it does say 64 of 110, so maybe if that runs out, I'm imagining if that runs out, they can't access the food that's in the other containers down below. So my assumption is I need to bring all of that back up here. You can see we have the workbench up here already. That was quick. Um, let's see. Workshop, stone forge. So this is cool. We could stick this over in the corner, like so. And the anvil we could put, oh, look at that. We could put it right in the corner, right there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Sweet. Okay, cool. So we got a number of these going, <clears throat> excuse me, and they're actually fitting in here pretty well. So that's cool. I really want to get this floor filled in and then the uh, last bit of the, at least the lower part of the wall in, kind of get that defined. Okay, we've got some more of these uh, workbenches built. So I'm going to actually go take out what we don't need anymore. The anvil, the forge, and the basic workbench. We're going to pull those. 
so that those activities are being done up here, hopefully. Okay, we're going to deconstruct, deconstruct, and deconstruct the forge. Cool. So with those out of the way, hopefully we don't have anybody trying to do those activities here. Uh, that was interesting. I didn't know we had the trade guy here. Um, I guess I'm not noticing the message because my mic is kind of blocking this area down there. Um, but I didn't see any messages, so I'm assuming that he didn't want anything that I was selling. Um, or maybe you have to have the somebody assigned as a trader. Now, we have a new member, of course. While I'm saying all of this, we have this <laughs> somebody applying to join us, which is excellent. This is exactly what we were hoping to do is get some more people in here so of course we're going to accept this person so let's see i'm going to go ahead and pause this really quick um because i want to see where are you is this you that is you samantha ward so let's go ahead and jump in here of course we're going to change name this time around guess what ellen it is now your turn so we get ellen in here Ellen Pony, who has been patiently waiting to be added to the community. There you go. Welcome aboard, Ellen. Now get to work, <laughs> like everyone else. Let's see what Ellen's actually doing right now. Uh, she's all about mining, actually. Um, I think what we're going to do is have her focus on foraging, though, for now. We don't really need to dig out anymore. We will get down on stone, and we are trying to build the fort. But I think our new focus is going to be on food and getting things moved. Okay, well, we have the sun rising on us. It's been an eventful night. Uh, not a dangerously <laughs> eventful night, fortunately. It's just been eventful uh, as far as moving things over. So I've been doing some a little bit of construction here, added a little bit more floor. You can see I've got food crates. I'll have some resource crates coming in here. So this building is basically for storage. I think I may leave this opening so I can see down in there. Uh, without having to lower the terrain it's kind of nice um, I may make the opening a little bit smaller but um, I think we'll leave that and then they can kind of go around the room we'll have things all along the walls and then of course down below in the basement so that's coming along pretty well uh, we've got everything in here now the uh, including the timbering benches here now so that's cool we'll get some more workbenches going in there I'm actually redoing the walls here a bit I had them running up here but then realized that they were supposed to be one more in or I guess out from the building so that's what's happening here and then we'll tear up the other pieces there I also dug out uh, this area at the entrance because I'm gonna put some things just inside the doorway and I want them down at this level which actually made me think that I might dig all of this out so when you first come in you're down at this lower level and you maybe have to come around and go up some stairs uh, to get anywhere so yeah, I've got the hall moved out here. Uh, if I bring this up, you can see we've got the hall in purple. So people kind of want to hang here. This is where the trade guy will come as well. I'm thinking about leveling the terrain here a bit and moving it, uh, making the hall right up against the doorway or, or, you know, right up at this area here. I think that'd be pretty cool. And if I go back uh, over here quickly, <laughs> you'll see that I've pulled up just about everything. I could probably remove this resource crate um, at this point. Oh wait, no, I haven't finished the other ones up there, so I think we'll wait on that. But um, we're just about done. I'm just about ready to pull the remaining um, storage bits out of here and probably break down the cart. Um, come to think of it, oh, okay, yeah, the road is connected. I forgot that I had it down here. <laughs> I was like, I should probably connect this up to the fort. But anyway, I'll probably pull that bit of the road out too once we're once we're fully done. But um, yeah, our original area is all but moved at this point. We've got everybody kind of up here doing what they need to do. So I'm going to end up uh, putting in one of these guys, the tool chest, and um, a couple other things, like I said, just inside the doorway so that that's where they, where they access that material. But um, yeah, things are, things are looking up. I'm feeling a little bit better. I think what I'm going to do is try and keep an eye out ahead of time, kind of be proactive about any threats that are out here and try and take care of them immediately you know kind of on my own terms send out people that are um, best equipped for that when the quantity of the threat is low so anyway that's kind of where we're at right now we've got some people standing around with uh, not much to do so let's let's get that figured out Francis Francis is a builder and he doesn't have anything more to build. Um, he's already taken care of the walls. I'm not sure about the deconstruction. I do have this set. 
I'm not sure who uh, takes things out when you highlight them this way. Maybe this isn't the way to do this. Maybe um, maybe you don't actually highlight it this way because this is kind of for digging. So I'm actually not sure about how you break down walls if that's not the case. But that's it's looking like this is not the case. Um, we can go ahead and cancel that order. So I'll look into that some more and see if we can break that down. Worst case scenario, not too big a deal to have a thick wall there. <laughs> Actually it looks kind of cool, like it's a more fortified building. But anyway, uh, let's see, what else can we get in here? Now obviously I've got some storage needs. We're kind of at a max on the miscellaneous. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's, let's take a look at this. We need a carpenter right now. Maybe Francis can help us out um, on that end. Go ahead and do that, Francis, because I think it's only... Oh, a level 2 carpenter. Okay, Francis, fine. Fine. Let's see. Um, let's get you chopping wood for now. It's kind of our miscellaneous task. Um, carpenter. Uh, we could switch Ross over to that. Let's just go ahead and do that. So he's going to go down there and get some food. I'll probably actually remove this food container down there and keep it all up here. I like this. It's somewhat centrally located in the fort. If they come in from outside, they're obviously taking a little bit of a trip up here. We may end up doing some food containers down here near the door just to make that a little easier for people who are working outside. But um, anyway, yeah. Are you eating more? <laughs> Let's see. I thought you were going to work on this. We need a carpenter level two thought that I had you yeah why are you not doing this I think he's just taking his time here we go now he's getting his hammer all right he just had to let his food digest <laughs> before he got to building that so once we get that in um, then I can take out the other guys below one is gonna replace the one that's down at the former camp and then I did a second one just because we are low on that kind of storage space so that's cool. Um, there is a bit more digging to do, some mining, uh, at least this one piece here. And like I mentioned, because I want to dig this out, that's something we're going to get to as well. But with a new day upon us, I wanted to make sure we were kind of getting as much food as we could and seeing if we could get another person to join um, today or two. That would be awesome. Okay, well here at midday on day 13, we are facing our first threat since the, uh, <laughs> since the reckoning of the wolves. We uh, have Ross spotting a skeleton. We've got one, two, and then I just spotted a third one up here in the trees, kind of hanging out up there. So I am the first thing going to pull Ross back. I've switched him to infantry, but we're gonna we're gonna pull him back. Um, get him heading back towards the fort. Let's speed this up a bit. So we got one following. The other two are not involved yet, which is great. And Ross could probably handle that guy, but we're going to get him running back over here. Cruise up here. Let's pause this really, really quick. Um, let's see. Luke. Luke is here. Actually, we have a number of people just sleeping here. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Pamela's good. We're going to get Pamela up. Um, switch her into infantry mode and have her meet Ross here and see is that skeleton still following no but I think we are going to go after him um, because I think he followed enough that he might be out of range of the other guys uh, where did you go where did you go around here somewhere I guess he didn't follow that closely okay let's see is that him no this is a different one these are the two up here we had the one that was falling. There he is. Okay, so he just stopped over there. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's back this pretty far out. We've got Ross selected. We're going to have him kind of do an end around here and get Pamela to do the same. We're going to start this up. We'll, we'll see if the other skeletons move anywhere. Up top, no. Still just standing there. Now, there is a bit of a danger because I've got somebody over here chopping trees down. I forgot who this is over here. It's Francis. <laughs> Francis. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just kind of keep an eye on him. Um, and let's grab these two again. We're kind of at this distance here. Let's see. I could try to take on the two, but we're going to just start here. Follow these guys over here. Okay, so we had it stop. Um, again, I'm trying to look behind my mic here. 
Uh, skeleton infantry has been spotted by Francis, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and bring him over here. Could probably bring him into the fort. We'll switch him to infantry mode so he just kind of wants to come chill over here. Just want to make sure that he does make his way. Yes. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to these two now. See what we've got here. Okay. So once they get there, they, they're they wanting to head back. I'm going to take a quick look at Francis. He is making his way back along the fort. So that's cool. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and just jam these guys in. Um, Pamela, you're going to move right up to this guy. And so will you, Ross. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Bring it in, bring it in. Take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him out. Nice. No problem. And we'll pause that really quick because we still have the two to contend with. If I can get out of the trees there. So we have the two up there. Now, I might try to body pull this a bit. <laughs> Use kind of the, uh, the old MMO phrase there. Let's see. Um, try to bring these guys just close enough to get the nearest skeleton. Um, let's see if that does it. Bring these guys up here. Pause it. Doesn't look like it was quite close enough. Bring them a little bit closer. Now, some of you mentioned it would be nice if you could kind of get, you know, select multiple at a time. That would be really cool. I just now realized, like, you know, I should probably try that. Let me try holding shift or anything, and it does not work. It would be really nice to, um, you know what Nomoria does? It allows you to uh, create a uh, group, for example, give it a name, and then you can assign people to that. And um, that's pretty cool. And you can even assign the gear that group uses and everything. You can get very specific with that. It's pretty sweet. Um, okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and pause. I want to see what the other one's doing. Um, he's not even moving in yet, so that's excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back these guys off a bit so that the fighting actually occurs even farther away. There we go. Oh, we've drawn him in. Let's see if they can take this guy out really quick, hopefully. Get on it. Just, just take him right out. Okay, let's pause. I want to double check. Okay, Pamela's doing all right. Yeah, I think we're good. I mean, this guy does have a shield and everything, but smack him down. Oh, yeah, he's turning his back on you. Make him pay. <laughs> Make him pay for that. There we go. Sweet. Okay, cool. So we're going to get this cleaned up. We're going to get Ross and Pamela back to what they're doing, and I'm just going to skim around and uh, see if we've got any other skeletons hanging around the map. Okay, we do have one more, the one that was chasing Francis. So I've got Pamela heading over here um, as well as Ross. There we go. We are about to have a throwdown. <laughs> Finish this last one off. Hopefully it's the last one. Oh, no, no. Oh, whew. That was close. That's a little too close, Pamela. You got very low there. But um, I was taking a look around when I spotted that one and I didn't see anything else nearby. So fortunately, I think that's going to be that. We're going to get to send them back to doing their doing their chores behind the uh, safety of the walls here. <laughs> okay, we've got building going on. Francis is in here hammering out some uh, stone flooring. I mentioned closing this in. So I'm starting to do that now, and I won't go all the way. I'm, I basically just have one more uh, column. Essentially, you see he's going to build that in. And so this is the space we're going to leave open here. It's kind of a 5x4 area just to kind of peek in there. Now, one of the things that I've done is I went in here, and I've actually set this wall to be dug out uh, a few deep because we need some more stone. And then what I've queued up is some of this brick. Uh, the brick will actually allow us to make um, some really cool-looking walls. Uh, let me jump in here and show you that. If we go to construction and walls, some of these walls that uh, I, I'm wanting to do, I think like the timbered brick would be cool. You can see what that looks like there. I want to do this for the walls of the buildings. So in order to do that, we need to have two of those bricks and one of the, um, the timbers. So I think that's what that is, right? <laughs> so anyway, there it's going to take a lot of resources to do that, but I've been looking through the materials and I really think that's the way to go. I did this first layer of kind of the basic stone along the uh, ground here um, for all of the walls, and I think that's cool, but then we're going to build on top of that. So I ba basically I'm using that as kind of a foundation. 
and then we need some proper walls <laughs> once we go up from there. But um, I'm going to try and save on materials, so these won't be solid walls. I'm going to have a lot of kind of one block wide um, kind of slits probably all over the places, like little windows and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll see. I just think that's going to be a lot of materials, and this is going to be very slow going, especially when we don't have the number of people we need to be gathering materials and everything. So let me go over. I thought I saw that. I was like, is that a skeleton? I see some feet. Look at you. How has no one spotted you yet? <laughs> this is kind of creepy. He's just standing over here watching our people sleep. Look at his head. He's like, hmm. <laughs> Should I go over there? Or no. Yeah, we can't really allow that. Now, Pamela was pretty hurt. Yeah, we're not going to send her in. Let's see. We do have Luke. Um, hmm. Luke, we'll switch you in. Your life is doing good. We'll switch Ross in. Infantry as well, and I'm only seeing the one, so I think that should be fine. We're going to send you kind of part way out there. Go on a slower timer as I head over here and take a quick look around. I don't see anybody else. I don't see any other skeletons. They spot him now, so our time, our uh, thing pause will probably happen again as the other one spots him. No, nope, guess not. Yeah, I like that. When they just decide to keep walking. <laughs> that totally works for me. Okay, cool. So let's see. Uh, those guys are going to head back there as I kind of ramble through some trees here. Let's see. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I need you on stone masonry. I think there might have been some carpentry work. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll, we're going to go ahead and set them to foraging right now. Very cool. Go gather some things. Pamela's just passed out trying to recover, so... And then let's see, we do have Francis. What are you doing, Francis? Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear attacking, what's going on? <laughs> Am I missing something? Uh, <laughs> I thought I heard some fighting going on. Am I just confused? Huh, I don't see any fighting. Okay, let's, let's start this up again. Okay. That is weird. I thought I heard, you know, metal on metal kind of clanging. Put me in a panic. I don't want to lose anybody else. <laughs> we need everybody we can get. Now you can see the food's coming along really well, which is awesome. Really kind of tearing this up. Um, or as far as food collection goes, I should say it's 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 okay. But what I meant more was the gardening stuff is coming along. We got all kinds of stuff in here, which is sweet. And you know what? It may have been the spider. I actually didn't notice the spider before, so maybe that sound was Ellen quickly taking out the spider. But anyway, you can see we've got all of the different supplies coming in here. I did have to add another um, wheat storage down below. It's kind of smaller one. You can see as this one was upgraded. And uh, we'll upgrade that one kind of next, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking seeing this place uh, come along. You know, I had this kind of vision for it. Oh, stop rambling, Ween. The traders here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had this kind of idea, and and you guys have seen it kind of over the, over these ten episodes now, slowly coming together. So I really would like to see it finish. Um, Let's see, we're going to pull Luke back. Where is Luke? I hope he's not too far away. Okay, cool. Luke's right here. Sweet. Okay. Get over there, because we need some trading going on. <laughs> yes, get on your get on your trade uniform. See if we could buy some food. Food would be great. Um, he wants to give us two for the dirt. I actually don't want to do that. We, um, we're going to use the dirt in some of the material that I want to make. So we're going to go ahead and decline that. Sorry, man. What else you got? Tell me you got food. Definitely interested in that. He doesn't want our pumpkin seed. That's fine. No issues there. He wants to buy 14 coal. I'm going to skip that. I don't I don't need one coin. Kind of looking around to see if there's anything else nearby. Skeletons or anything. <laughs> I'm spooked. I'm spooked. Now, I know a number of you have said over the course of these videos as well that you can lower the terrain and spot creatures easier. Um, I could do that. I have not done that before. Um, I think I just leave it to me skimming around a bit. I think I'll spot them pretty easily when I kind of run around. One short sword for 10 coin. I only have 42 coin. Um, 
I mean, it might be nice to have another weapon. We we do have one sword among us. <laughs> Somewhere somebody is carrying around a sword. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to pay that though. I do not, because I don't remember what you end up paying for food. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was expensive. So 94 for 15 coin. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm saving my money for. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll buy that. That gives us a good chunk of food. And let's see, we're late afternoon. The last time I had two people join in one day, it was at morning and then like at noon or something. So, and no, we already decided we don't do arrows. I actually should just turn that off um, if I'm not going to do those. Weapons... Let's come down here a bit. Let's see, is it stone arrows? Yeah, I have those on a buy. We'll, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm not gonna pay one coin f for each arrow. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Okay, well that'll about wrap it for this episode, number 10 of Timber and Stone. I do want to thank you guys for all your likes, your comments. Um, I definitely have appreciated that over these 10 episodes. I know in episode 9 things were very dark, and I was considering uh, not bringing any videos uh, for the game for a while while I kind of built this up and tried to recover. But a number of you reached out to me and said you wanted to see more, so I thought, okay, well let's just, I'll keep recording then, because it does sound like you guys want to see that recovery, even if it is going to be a little slow low so here we are like I said we're gonna have more of these I'll probably have another one by next weekend um, maybe there will be maybe episode 11 will be up you know this weekend as well I'm not really sure but uh, at the very least we will have another one next weekend um, so anyway yeah like I said I think we'll leave it at that hopefully we can get things back under control I'm gonna be looking for you guys for more advice and everything you guys have been sending in a lot of that and I definitely appreciate that so anyway like I said thanks thanks for watching everybody I appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you next time